Now you've had a chance to practice your inheritance skills, let's have a go at putting them to the test in fixing the plane constructor. So what's wrong? The plane constructor at the airport takes an object representing a plane and uses it to construct a real plane. In order to do this, the plane models actually have to be very detailed, and this involves a number of complex functions that have been written by expert plane builders, and it wouldn't be possible to rewrite these functions. So, unfortunately, all of the plane models stored on the system are of planes with normal landing gears, and Jane needs a plane with water landing gear, but one that has all the functionality of a normal plane. We need some way of changing one part of the plane model while keeping all the old code the same. Your job is to create a new plane object so that the plane ob constructor can create a new plane with water landing gear. With a system as large as the plane constructor, it wouldn't be possible to actually go into the source code and change the properties of an existing plane to use water landing gear. And this is a scenario that you'll probably encounter a lot if you're doing OOP programming. You need to use inheritance to reuse the old plane code while implementing the functionality to use the water landing gear. Your inheritance skills will be put to the test as you need to make sure you understand how to override functions properly and how to call things like the super constructor. So, without further ado, let's get started.